Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a look that was sort of semi-inspired by the Beyonce countdown video, I guess, but I actually first saw the use of yellow in the inner corner in a Tanya's, um, you know, Pixie 2 Ruse video. So I, yesterday I wore a cat eye that had yellow in the inner corner and I filmed a video and you, a lot of people commented how they liked that colour in there, so I came up with this look which is just very simple but the yellow is definitely it's surprisingly flattering I mean yellow eyeshadow is probably very hard to wear I've never really worn it on my eye before that I remember and um, this is just such a wearable look but totally cool and unpredicted so unpredictable so keep watching if you want to see how to do it and I hope that you enjoy first step is to prime your eye I'm using the L'Oreal decrease taking my E45 blending brush by Sigma and this color which is called French Grey by MAC I think this might have been this might be discontinued I'm not sure but just sort of a matte light brown and I'm just going to sweep this through my crease then with a smaller brush I'm just using a flat shader brush and this color which is called Bark also by MAC I'm just going to use that to give my socket some more depth by tracing this even more precisely into my socket line. And under the eye as well. Use your E45 to blend that out. Now I'm using this big fat fluffy shading brush. This is a MAC 227 SE. And I'm going to use a matte highlight color. This is Bone by Bobbi Brown. I'm going to pat that on my lid area. And under my brow bone. Sorry, that other brush um, was actually an E25. Now I'm taking the E45. I'm going to use NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk to put some white on the inner corner of my eye here. Quite a lot. And I'm going to use my ring finger to pat that in. Now I'm taking this little smudge brush with really dense bristles and this gosh eyeshadow, it's bright yellow in the color 283. Packing that on the brush and then patting that over the white milk. Now I'm going to put a winged eyeliner on and I'm just going to use my fluid line uh, in Black Track by MAC. Just using this Jazz Art liner. I do have a video on how I do my liquid liner so go and check that out. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and put some of this on. So now that liner is done, I'm going to just put on some mascara. Any will do because you're going to apply fake eyelashes. Now I'm going to apply Ardell Wispies and I've cut these so they're a lot smaller than usual but I'm going to use them on the outer third of my eye to make it really cat catty. Okay, with the milk by NYX, I'm putting that on my waterline. And then I'm going to put some mascara on my lower lashes as well because I didn't have any before. That's the finished eye look, but I still need to put my brows on, so...
Now using Personal Style, which is a powder blush by MAC, I'm going to uh, contour a little bit. I'm using the Sigma Contouring Brush. This is a very subtle uh, contour colour for pale people. I guess I've got medium toned skin, I guess, so it's probably good for those people too. But my, I'm not very tanned at the moment. I've got fake tan on now. Now I'm going to line my lips. I'm going to use my favorite lip liner at the moment, which is the Australis um, Lip Pencil in Bashful. going to leave my lips matte I think and my hair is in a high ponytail same as yesterday or similar to yesterday um, what I might do is just put another coat of mascara on over the falsies well everyone that's the end of my video I'm just wearing the neutral lips a little bit of contouring and then I've got these um, semi dramatic eyes that um, have the yellow in the corner and the sort of brown in the crease or the sculpting in the crease I guess you would say um, with the cat eye. I hope that you very much enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!